talk. How do you choose the right implants? I can see now we have. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So implants. again, one aspect of breast augmentation is you have to uh, choose the breast implant. It's basically the size. So that's the most important. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really um, what the patients want. But again, before that, you have to also consider your your height. Your natural build. Yeah, your natural build. And then you then you're small, and then you want. Big. Although some people like that, but uh, normally I I what I use like that were natural. Yes. Yeah. So. I take into good, good consideration the height of the patient, mm -hmm. the, the chest size, mm -hmm. the breast diameter, the breast diameter, diameter uh, the skin type, the skin elasticity. So this all comes into play. That's why, um, again, if, you consider, if you're really serious to consider your breast augmentation, you have to see a plastic surgeon. Mm -hmm. So that all of this will be measured and then uh, you know, to tell you what's the right size for you. And then, again, it's just a recommendation. Mostly, you can say, Especially, um, you call it the bosom, malaki. Pwede naman, it's possible. As long as the body can, um, can handle it. It's as long as it's yung bang kasha. That's why you have to take in consideration what I mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, yun. Uh, with regards to type of implant, uh, again, there's different types. As you can see here, I have samples, no? So, we have the smooth one, the round. And then there's texturing, textured implant, and then parang meron ding semi-textured, no? So, basically, these are, um, doctor's preference and also a patient's preference. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, with regards to safety, um, texturing uh, comes into play when it comes to, when it comes to um, safety of the, of the, the implants. No? So, yun. So, meron ding type of implant na saline and um, silicone. So, what we have here is your silicone type. No? Uh, silicone type of implant. Uh, normally, kasi, we don't, normally, sa Philippines, we don't, normally use saline for her breast augmentation because it's more prone to rupture, also okay. leakage, yes. yeah. so that's why uh, how I prefer um, silicone breast implants because mm -hmm. it's more safe, uh, it's less um, with, uh, with complications such as um, rupture or leakage mm -hmm. and also um, yung mga rippling, so smooth. No? Yeah, usually mga rippling it's more uh, associated with uh, texturing type mm -hmm. of implant. So meron din na uh, Meron ding shape. So again, like I mentioned, round to meron din yung uh, teardrop or natural shape implants. No? With uh, with this type of implant, specifically Motiva, mm -hmm. uh, they have that effect. No, para siyang uh, round. Oh. But if you stand up, it, it, it creates a more parang uh, teardrop shape or natural type of uh, shape na breast. So, oh. so parang ganun. So, yun yung Motiva. Nice. So, yun, also, is it safe to say that in saline Breast implants are the first generation yeah, implants. Correct. Tapos the newer ones are silicone. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And it is what you recommend. Yes, uh, what I recommend is again is uh, um, si uh, silicone gel implants. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, what I don't recommend now is since it's already uh, available in the market, mm -hmm. it's against Motiva implant. Oh, now, okay. uh, if you ask why Motiva, no? as you can see, no, um, compared to the texture, breast implant related complication, kasi, mm -hmm. ang most common kasi long term is ca capsular contraction. What do you mean by contraction is what happens is since it's foreign body, right? Yes. So if you put it inside your body, there's, there's going to be some kind of reaction. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that, that your body will make a capsule around this implant. And sometimes that capsule, para siyang scar inside it. Oh. That capsule becomes hard. It doesn't and, recognize, doesn't recognize it as its own? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's foreign. It's, okay. it's that part of you. So it will create a capsule inside. And mm -hmm. that capsule, will sometimes, within, uh, within 10 years, becomes thick, it becomes oh, hard. Yes. Now, with, with this implant, Motiva, again, it's uh, it's been proven that it, it is less, uh, with, with less contracture. They claim that it's even one, uh, less than 1% contracture rate. And one more thing, uh, right now, the most uh, dreaded long-term complication, mm -hmm. uh, several cases have been reported in the States and also in the Europe. It's a uh, breast uh, implant associated um, an aplastic large cell lymphoma. So, para siyang cancer actually. No? So, it's been uh, some some implants already been uh, really correlated with that, ano, with this uh, as, uh, illness. No? Especially with, with the texture. Ito textured implant ban na to in, in, in some parts of Europe. Kasi it's really correlated with with uh, yun nga, B I E A L C L. So, uh, with, with Motiva implants, actually, um, so far, there have been done studies 
That's why we're going to skip that right now. It's halos zero. The shell of the implant is nano smooth. Mm -hmm. so it's, uh, again, it's less tissue reaction and uh, most, most, uh, I mean, I'm going to zero uh, right now. Wala silang, um, Complication. With regards to, yun nga, yung, uh, BIA, ALCS. Yes, yeah. so I recommend this, uh, um, implant right now. How about the risks in undergoing breast augmentation surgery? Okay. So, uh, like any other surgery, um, there's, of course, there's risk. There's a lot of risk-free surgery. Right? Right. So, with breast augmentation, there are uh, types of uh, complications. There are breast-related compli breast implant related complications at operation-related complications. Mm -hmm. So, operation-related complications are uh, also bleeding, hematoma, there are infection, of course, but like any other surgery, a lot of infections always, always comes into play. But these are very, uh, very rare, less than 1%. Now with the uh, breast implant in the complication, so uh, again, uh, most common is long-term complications with capsular contraction, like, like what I mentioned. Others are rippling. Rippling is that, as you can see with big motiva, it's mm -hmm. full. Yeah. Siya, full, right? Yeah, compared, cool. compared with this one, look at this. The feeling of the implants, it's like below the depression. Yeah. Kita mo rin dito. Hindi siya fully filled. Well, mm -hmm. you know, another with, with booty, but it's really filled. So rippling is less. Oh. Or not even, they report as in less than 1%. No? Okay. Uh, or with rotation, um, rotation is uh, usually associated with teardrop shape. But again, with, with ergonomics, since it's round, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, when you start up, it acts as teardrop, rotation is again, uh, not a problem. Uh, basically, those are most common uh, complications of uh, breast uh, implant related complications. Mm -hmm. And of course, the most dreaded, like when I mentioned, is yung, uh, breast I implant mean, associated uh, ALCS. Yes. 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 Talaga, which is talaga, it's related, they really correlate that with the texture. So, again, uh, with, with, with the shell of Kodiva, um, mm -hmm. uh, they report right now it's zero. Oh, wow. Yeah, wala talaga siyang, uh, cause with 